standing beyond standing beyond time. time. Our understanding of time has been limited to our perspective and the gestures of Earth science. It's important for complicated concepts to be understandable and accessible to everyone who is ready to hear it. Time is a concept that we have become accustomed to seeing as a linear, or past, present, and future concept. It is a hard concept for many, and for good reason. Our understanding of time was much like those sitting around a board game and seeing it start and play out until someone won or lost. We would see the game as over and to never be repeated exactly the same way again. Now we have more technologically advanced examples to understand time. Now we have video games that have multiple levels and even communities who can play the game at the same time, but will be having a different experience even if they are on the same level at the same game. One can be coming around a corner while one can be climbing a mountain. You can put a game on hold and return while someone else has gone on to the next level. In fact, people can come in and out of the game. People return to the game. For some outside of the Earth game, the game exists, and it can be visited at any point in the game. Each stage can be revisited and replayed. Free will can direct reactions and performance, but the game is programmed to happen. In this way, we on 3D Earth are at a disadvantage in seeing what time really is. This is why those who have had a near-death experience can come back and report that time doesn't really exist, or that it happens all at once. They have gotten a glimpse outside of the video game we are using to describe time. Time is very much like a video game playing out. What is more important to know is that things are changing, and we will become more aware of this perspective outside of our limited 3D. When I spoke to my soul family, they showed me something. What I understand was that those who are truly negative to the core and unredeemable will be dealt with. I was shown a potter who took the damaged vases and refired them into something else. I saw that souls who cannot yield to the light will be wiped clean and may not even remember who they are. All that work to gain power will be personally meaningless. They will have worked on earth to become the most powerful person in the world, but they could soon be a speck of dirt or dust in the universe somewhere having to start again as part of something else. They will lose their identity. They will lose all the negative power they have accumulated here. There will be balance again in the universe. We will begin to see outside of our limited linear time. We will begin to see time as fluid and malleable. Our current matrix will not hold us locked in this limited perspective forever. We will eventually see beyond Earth time.